Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we are going to take a look at the Safe Test 50. Now, this is a list of this is my protege, a Biomed one, pretty close to being just fresh out of school. Never seen this device before today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run her through probably about 30 seconds worth of orientation around the device and then see if a Biomed one who's never seen this device before and just pick it up and run with it and start doing electrical safeties. So let's do this. You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, here we go. I've got the Safe Test 50. It's plugged in. I have just a generic SPO2. Now, these are the competing products. Now, you can see here, I've got the Fluke Medi Tester 5000C, uh, whatever variant you want to call it. I've got the Safe Sim. Now this one here is more of an automated tester, which can be very nice, especially for junior biomeds, because it does everything automatically and gives you on-screen prompts. This guy here gives you nothing. It, it's, it does a lot of stuff, and it's got a lot of options. You can see that. But the problem is, is it doesn't really tell you how to do the test or what's going wrong with the test. That brings us to this guy. Okay, the safe test, you can tell it's got large buttons. It has got a flow, a workflow. You got your single fault conditions right here. You got your green for go, red for stop. Uh, this is reverse polarity. We don't do reverse polarity. So uh, we are going to run through uh, power cord resistance. We got, uh, remember, we're going to have to put it on chassis leakage instead of ground resistance, uh, instead of ground leakage and uh, then green for go. So let's go ahead and let's see how you do. Let's go ahead and hook it up. So that being said, it should have a zeroed out probe already. I've used this thing all morning long and it has been a fantastic little device. Okay, so our first test, we're gonna do ground resistance, no problem. Okay, and let's see, what setting are we on? We're on ground leakage, let's change the leakage. There we go, chassis. Okay, and uh, we're connected, so go ahead and green for go. Okay, device turns on, it's in charging. Yep, open the ground, excellent. Go ahead and close the ground. There you go. There you go. 30 microamps. Excellent. Too easy. And then you're all done. So guys, that was fairly simple. The workflow is pretty good because you start from the left side and you work your way across. The only thing that seems to be a little bit of a catch, it's caught me too, is right here on the function button, changing from a ground leakage to chassis leakage but you have that on other types of electrical safety analyzers too. It's just the terminology is a little confusing and the fact that it's going to alter your lifting ground. It's really kind of simplistic with the, the green for go, red for stop. That's how I would explain the device. I like that they use symbols instead of terminology, instead of writing it out. It has the ground uh, as ohms. Boop. UA, of course, is leakage. And this is the only thing that really catches even me sometimes. But, and then of course we pop into the here and we can see the current draw, the frequency of the line and what's going on from L1, L2 and ground. Anyway guys, that's just a quick flow with a Biomed One who's never seen this device before today on doing electrical safety. And technically, because of the amount of time that it takes to do an electrical safety with that guy and the amount of time it would take me to explain an electrical safety with that guy, this one here, because it's large symbols, rather easy, I think I could actually probably do electrical safeties faster with this guy than with those guys. It's true. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. And uh, leave me a like down below, okay? I appreciate it. Bye.